morning, Millfields. I hope you are having a lovely week. I am really pleased to be here to do another assembly with you. Now, on Monday, Mr Parrish was talking to us about us being a no outsider school and what that actually means. And while I was watching that assembly, it got me thinking and it reminded me of a story which is about being left out and being an outsider and what that means. And I thought during today's assembly, I would share it with you. And I'm sure it is a story that you are familiar with and that you have read before. But while you are listening to it, I really want you to think about what Mr. Parrish was talking to you about and Money about our no outsiders, that everybody is included and what you can do to make sure that happens in our school. So the story I'm going to read to you is Giraffes Can't Dance. So I hope you enjoy it. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald! The animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. I'm just going to pause the story there for a little minute. Gerald knew he couldn't dance very well, but wanted to join in. He wanted to be included. And he had to be really brave to do that. He had to take every bit of courage that he had. And all the other animals laughed at him. They didn't let him have a go. They told him he couldn't. You can't dance. You're being a fool. And they've laughed at him. They left him on the outside. They didn't include him. I want you just to stop just for a second and think about a time when you've been left out, when you wanted to be included and when you haven't. I'm just going to be quiet for a, for a few seconds and to give you time to think about a time you've been left out. Now, you might have been thinking about when you've been playing a game in the school playground and you've gone over to people and said, can I play? And they've said no. Or maybe you're thinking about when there's a group of children doing a task or an activity you want to join in and they won't let you. Just think about how that made you feel. I'm sure it made you feel sad, alone, upset. Might even have left you feeling angry, frustrated. And that's because you were left on the outside. You weren't included. Now think about a time maybe you were like the animals and you were the person keeping people on the outside. When you didn't let people join in. When, when you thought, when someone asked you if you could join your game, when they asked you, sorry, if they could join your game, you said no because it was too much effort for them to join in and you'd have to change the game. Or you liked the way it was. Or maybe the task you were doing, you really liked that it was just the people that you had. And you didn't want anyone else joining in. When we leave people on the outside, we feel that we have the reason to do it. And 
make our lives easier if we didn't. But think back to that list of feelings that we talked about. Lonely, sad, upset, angry, frustrated. Do you really want people to feel that way? Do you really want to be the person that's making them feel that way? When all you have to say is, yes, join in, come on, have a go. You can play with me. I'll help you with your work. Oh, you're finding it tough. Don't worry, try this. We have the power to make people feel really good and included. And we have the power to make them feel really bad and excluded. And I think I'd like to be someone who includes people and makes them feel wanted because that's how I'd want to be. That's how I'd want to be treated and that's how I'd want to feel. But in our story, that's not what's happened to Gerald. He's on the outside. He's not allowed to join in when everybody else can. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. Oh, the moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever, ever seen. How is it that you dance like that? Please, Dar Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, then we, when we find music that we love. The story ends with Gerald happy because He'd finally been included. He had found a way where he could dance with all the other animals. And it was all because of the cricket. The cricket told him that even though you're different, you just have to sometimes find a different way. The cricket helped Gerald. He included him. So my question to you today is this. When people need us the most, are you going to be like all the other animals and exclude them? Or are you going to be like the cricket? And are you going to find a way of helping others and including them? And as a result, making people happy, making people feel wanted, making people feel like they have everything. Choosing the way of the cricket is the way of being no outsiders, that everybody is included, no matter what. Have a lovely day, Millfield, and I will see you again next week. Bye!